Hello and welcome to episode 35 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I'm going to show you a really quick trick of moving tasks around when you're doing either your mini daily review or you're even doing your weekly review. Okay, now if you remember from episode 32, I set up a week planning view. Now, I, I like the seven day view and that's great because it shows me today, tomorrow, right through till Saturday. But I'm really only concerned in this case, I'm really only concerned about what's going to happen during the week, i.e. Monday to Friday. So I'm looking at my tasks for tomorrow. It looks like I've got a lot of tasks. I will check that against my calendar to see what tomorrow's looking like. And that's looking quite busy too. Um, but I am pretty confident that I can actually get most of those tasks done. There's nothing there that I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily want to postpone until another day. So let's move on to Tuesday. Uh, work on slides for Roche Lecture 1. Now, uh, that one, I think, based on my calendar for Tuesday, yep, I'm going to move that one to Wednesday. So if I want to move this, I just get hold of the hamburger bar uh, icon at the left-hand side and just shift that down to Wednesday. So I just drag it down. And now that's set up for Wednesday. Uh, confirm this morning's, yeah, that's okay. Tweet you, yeah, the yeah, YouTube post YouTube video, yep. Uh, you post medium blog post yeah that's no problem Wednesday yep we're okay for that um, because Wednesday is going to be a nice quiet day because I have this uh, election day so that's cool uh, Thursday I know is a busy day for classes but Thursday yep all those are okay um, ah this one I can move now that one I'm gonna move that one up to Thursday <clears throat> now look what happens when I move that after a few seconds Todoist is going to do its thing for me and it's going to take that task which is set as a P1 task and shift that to the top of the list simply because I have flagged it. Todoist will organize your list according to priority. So if you have a P1 it's going to go to the top, a P2 is going to be next in line, then a P3 and then a P4. Uh, and now I feel, yep, I feel pretty comfortable with that. Yeah, no problem. Right, I'm now set up for the week. Okay, so I do hope that you found this episode uh, useful. Uh, I know it's a quite a simple trick, but sometimes it's the simple things that can save you a lot of time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to get the latest episodes as and when I post them. I do try to post episodes at least twice a week. And, well, until next time, I wish you all have a very, very productive week, and I will see you again in the next episode.